welcome to today's edition of The Emma Show. I'm Emma, and I'm happy to accompany you through this show. I'm thrilled to have our permanent guest with us today. Please welcome Luai with me. Hello, Emma. Thank you very much for this welcome. It's an honor to be here at your show. Today we are filming the fourth episode of the show and starting to discuss the fourth dialogue. This dialogue takes place between a brother and his sister who are trying to coordinate a family matter. I think it's important that we use uh, this opportunity to learn vocabulary related to family. Me too. So let's get started. So, al-akh means the brother and al-ukht means the sister. Lots of khal is used, al-akh and al-ukht. Yes, al-akh says to al-ukht, so the brother says to to uh, the um, sister, uh, marhaban ya Aisha. So marhaban means hello, and Aisha is her name. What does ya mean? The word ya is used in the language for calling when two people are talking to each other, or a person uh, is calling another person on the street or when the uh, worshipper calls uh, on his uh, Lord uh, in, in prayer, then the caller uses the calling uh, tool, uh, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. so I can call you, Yaluai. Yes, exactly. Wow, interesting. Okay, go on, please, Yaluai. So, al ukht the sister, answers, Marhaban, Ya Muawiyah. I assume Muawiyah is his name. Right. The name is difficult to pronounce and strange. Hmm. I don't really believe that uh, because the name is famous in our culture and uh, great people in, Islam uh, in Islamic history uh, had this name. That's fine. Okay, well, um, the brother asks uh, a question. كيف حالك يا أختي? means how are you my sister kaifa halak is how are you right is for feminine right exactly yeah it's the calling tool uh-huh and means my sister right very good you who i'm learning arabic so quickly i will soon speak arabic like you um not really but yeah congratulations okay please continue الأخت answers uh, الحمد لله بخير وأنت كيف حالك يا أخي الحمد لله بخير وأنت كيف حالك يا أخي الحمد لله means uh, thank God uh, بخير means good and uh, كيف حالك يا أخي is the question uh, how are you my brother yes sure aha uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, um, Al-Akh then says, uh, بخير أيضا هل تعلمين متى تأتي أمنا اليوم؟ بخير أيضا هل تعلمين متى تأتي أمنا اليوم؟ So, بخير, uh, as I said, means good. أيضا means also. So, also good. Uh, هل تعلمين is the question, do you know? As far as I know, uh, I remember uh, in the last or uh, in the, uh, before last one, we talked together about uh, how to make uh, questions that start with hell. Uh, on the other hand, if we want to ask a question that starts with a, a verb, uh, we first put the ask tool hell and then use the verb uh, that we want to use. So, هل تعلمين متى تأتي أمنا اليوم? Which means, uh, do you know when our mother is coming today? What does اليوم mean? Today. Aha, okay. Please continue. Mm -hmm. um, الأخت answers with نعم, لقد قالت لي في الساعة الخامسة عصرا. نعم. لقد قالت لي في 
الساعة الخامسة عصرا So uh, قالت is the uh, conjugation of the verb say um, but in the past tense uh, with she she said هي قالت أنا قلت I said you said أنت قلت for masculine أنت قلت you said for feminine and uh, هي قالت she said but as we learned from previous conversations uh, Arabs don't use personal pronouns except in cases where uh, it's necessary so uh, في here uh, in the sense of at uh, and الساعة الخامسة 5 o'clock and عصرا in the sense of uh, afternoon so the full translation of her answer is, yes, she told me at 5 in the afternoon. Yes, exactly. Um, it's interesting, honestly, with the hidden personal pronouns as used in Arabic. The beauty of learning Arabic is the special features that make this language unique. Yes, I agree. Nice. What does Alok say then? Yes, uh, uh, then uh, he says... Uh, إذن سأبدأ بتجهيز نفسي إذن سأبدأ بتجهيز نفسي in sense of um, so I start preparing myself uh, so إذن means uh, then uh, سأبدأ means I will start uh, the personal pronoun is hidden here right yes exactly mm -hmm. Uh, yes, and بتجهيز نفسي or بتجهيز نفسي means uh, prepare myself. Yes. Apparently, he lives in a different house or in a different area and needs time to come. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, that could be right. Uh, the sister, الأخت, then tells him لم تشتري الحلوى أليس كذلك? We remember the verb تشتري uh, is in the present tense. So uh, the negation comes with the uh, tool lem. Uh, this negation uh, up, uh, applies uh, to the past and uh, up to the point in time uh, at which the negate sentence what uh, was said. Lem uh, تشتري means you didn't uh, buy. Uh, الحلوى in the sense of uh, sweets أليس كذلك uh, in the sense of uh, doesn't it so the verb تشتري means to buy yes uh, the verb buy is called الشراء so أنا أشتري I buy أنت تشتري uh, you buy uh, uh, أنت تشترينا uh, you, uh, buy, you buy you uh, buy for uh, feminine etc Ashura. Exactly. Okay, please continue. Al uh, the brother answers la means means no. Bingo. Uh, and then he uh, he says lam ansa dalik means uh, I haven't uh, forgotten that. Um, I as I just explained uh, the verb ansa uh, is in the present tense. So the negation comes with a, a tool lam. And what does this verb mean? To forget. Ana ansa, I uh, forget. Anta tensa, you forget for masculine. Anti tensina, uh, you forget uh, for feminine, and uh, etc. And dalika uh, in the sense of uh, that or this, depending on the context. La lam anza zalek. Nice. Yes, then the uh, sister says Hasanan. Hasanan in the sense of yes or okay or good. Hasanan yalwai. Uh huh. Uh, and at the end, the brother says Ila liqa. Ila liqa means uh, goodbye. And the sister answers with Wada'an. Wada'an in the sense of uh, goodbye. Yes, I already know that. Uh-huh. Uh, but I guess uh, what you don't know is that the word wada' means farewell. Uh, then I say al-wada' then it uh, literally means the farewell. Uh, but it's usually used uh, as goodbye or farewell for uh, something.
Aha, good to know. Mm -hmm. Here I would like to say something that I noticed while following these dialogues. You can't always translate a sentence word for word. There are expressions that vary from language to language, and this makes each language slightly different from others. Mm -hmm. This is true. Uh, so when I try to translate sentences, uh, I first try to translate the sentence uh, word for word. However, if I find that the translation is not correct, I uh, use the other translation method, namely uh, the translation in the sense of the uh, approximate, uh, what it uh, meant by this saying and so on. Uh, be uh, because the literal Translation is something difficult uh, to understand. Yes. Yes, you are right. Maka hat. Yes. Good. I find the conversation very good and practical. Now it's time to practice. Let's practice the language through dialogue. Gladly. You are the brother and I am the sister, so you can get started. Okay. So, marhaban ya Aisha. Marban Yamwawiya. Kaifa Halukiya Uhti. Alhamdulillahi Bikaya Va Anta Kaifa Haluka Ya Ahi. Bihayrin Aydan Halta Alamina Meta Teti Ummunal Yom. Nam Lakat Kalatli Fizati Al Shamizati Azrin. Idan Saabda Obitaj Hizi Nafsi. Lam Tashtari Al Hawa. أليس كاثوليك؟ لا، لم أنسى ذلك. حزنا. إلى اللقاء. بعد أن. Beautiful. You like to speak Arabic, don't you? شكرا. نعم يا لواي. عفوا إما. All right then. We have now reached the end of today's show, and I would first like to thank our guest Luai, who was with us today. We hope that you enjoyed the show, and we look forward to welcoming you again next time. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Emma, and see you next time.